When working in assembly drawings, users of SOLIDWORKS 2008 will notice tremendous enhancements within the bills of material. First, the interface has been consolidated. Attributes can either be accessed through the property manager or through a pop-up toolbar. The property manager controls the table attributes. The pop-up toolbar controls the individual cell attributes. Notice this motor is item number three. I can easily reorder the third row to the sixth row by simply clicking and dragging. Notice the balloons updated with the new position of the item. I can also reorder the columns again with this click-drag interface. A significant enhancement is the ability to combine welded frame information within the bills of material. By choosing indented assemblies, you can see that I've itemized the structural members of the skid component. I have C-channels, angle iron, as well as lifting lugs individually listed within the bill material. The table also includes a flyout column which gives you important feedback regarding your design. Here you can see the items which have balloons in the drawing, the type of item, and their relationship to each other. Now you can see here when I choose to list the structural members of the welded frame component, it actually gives me a quantity that represents the overall length required. SOLIDWORKS is going to help clarify this with a new type of column called units of measure. It will look into the individual files and puts the units of measure in the correct locations in the correct rows. Now one of my favorite enhancements has to do with editing or adding different textual properties. Here we forgot to add a description to the motor. Instead of opening the motor in its own window and changing that textual property, we can just edit it in the build material. SOLIDWORKS will automatically add that to the properties of the component file. Here you can see it added the description. Notice that it not only added it to the file, it actually added it to the correct configuration of the file. And of course it's bidirectional. When I change it in the motor part, it actually updates correctly on the build materials. So as you can see, a lot of significant enhancements in the bills of material. Users are going to love not only how it's going to speed editing and adding properties, but actually just getting the bills of material to look the way they, they desire. It's great enhancements. It's in SOLIDWORKS 2008.